Are you using almond milk, Gina? Well, no, I, uh, what I do is I normally... Jesus Christ, this thing is... Where hold on, I... hold on, Gina. We haven't really filmed you in a while with your diet, and Mom and Dad have kind of been doing your food lately. What's going on with the almond milk? When did that start? Oh, uh, well, recently I discovered I'm lactose intolerant, and I can't handle regular milk, cow's milk, so that's interesting. Well, first of all, Gina, what are we making? I'm making oatmeal today. So why aren't we using hot water? Why are you using almond milk? Well, normally I put it after because sometimes it's still a little dry, so I add a little bit of well, almond when did you milk. When did you start using the almond milk, Gina? I think a couple of months. A couple of months? We, a couple of months ago. That doesn't sound right. Okay, maybe so we're a gonna couple use, We're going to use ago. hot water today because almond milk is not good for you, okay? Okay. Dietary changes. Was the almond milk your idea or was the almond milk mom and dad's idea? Well, my idea because I'm thinking... Yeah, at least try. Did you tell them to buy you almond milk? Well, I told Dad to For buy the oatmeal, it. specifically? Yeah, the organic oatmeal, because I figured, yeah, uh, it's got to be at least somewhere to because I had uh, organic oatmeal before that you bought me. Before. See, Gina is a little bit conniving and sneaky. She tries to get foods in she's not supposed to have, and if you give her, like, a hand, she'll rip your whole arm off. And then she pretends, like... <laughs> She doesn't know what she was doing. So we're gonna boil the water. Uh, why don't you show them the oatmeal, Gina? This is so the oatmeal. My parents cheaped out or they bought something decent. So this is instant oatmeal, ancient grains, quinoa, and amaranth. It's not organic, so it's probably full of chemicals. Whole grain oats, cane sugar, flax meal, natural flavors, chia seeds, maple sugar, quinoa, amaranth, sea salt. So this is uh, very bad. Um, and there's probably a lot of chemicals in this. There's probably a lot of bad ingredients you shouldn't have. Uh, I'm going to make sure that um, my parents get something better and healthier. Uh, you know, my dad tends to be lazy. He doesn't care. He doesn't think that type of stuff's important. But um, it is. So that's actually some cream of buckwheat I, I bought for myself uh, a couple weeks back that Gina's been eating. I haven't really been using it myself. This is actually uh, really, really good, really healthy. It is a tad expensive. I think these boxes are like 6 or $7 each now. But the only ingredient in it is certified organic buckwheat. Cream, but this is probably honestly one of the the best things you could do for breakfast from just a carbohydrate perspective. So the nice thing about the oats is they have a higher fat and protein content compared to other grains. So you really want to look at like the protein to fat to carbohydrate ratio of whatever you're eating, and then deem if you want to add extra protein to it. Um, what we could actually do that Gina hasn't been doing is uh, I have a lot of whey protein here that that she should probably be putting into the, the oats. So let's grab a scoop. So I usually forget about the whey protein because I don't have it a lot myself. I prefer to stick to just like steak, really just a lot of steak for protein. But you know, my sister doesn't really like eating a lot of steak. So this is a great way to get some protein in her breakfast. And you have picky kids, you know, just put a scoop of high quality grass fed whey protein in the oats. Ah, open freaking bag. Uh... So the oatmeal and the buckwheat stuff you can get at Whole Foods, and the whey protein you can get on Frankie's Ranch Foods. Why does she make a weird noise? No, it smells like whey protein, you know. This is good. I love whey protein. When I used to, um, when I used to bodybuild. No, wait, 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 Gina, wait, wait. We gotta add the protein first. Okay. So. I'm gonna just mix that in there. Cause... Put the protein in. One scoop is fine. She's gonna mix that into the oats, and then we'll put the water in. I mean, to me, whey protein is such a nostalgic flavor. Uh, Cause I went like five, six, seven years without having any, and then when I had it again, you know, it gave me a, a reminder of my bodybuilding days. We drink a lot of like Optimum Nutrition Whey Synthesis Isopure, but this stuff is way higher quality. Now there isn't any flavoring or additives in this, so since that's apple cinnamon oatmeal, it's fine. But normally you want to add some vanilla, some honey, some cacao powder, some type of flavor to the oatmeal. And the whey protein will actually make it taste better even if you don't add flavorings. That like, that milk dairy protein has a complexity to it and it's pretty pleasant. So overall this is good caloric energy, good protein source, and uh, you know if you go with the high quality whey protein and if you go organic on the oatmeal and the oats, definitely one of the healthiest breakfasts you can have. I really think this is great Ooh. for kids and just really approachable for the average standard American diet. This is what it looks like. Mm. Mm. So you, you had this a couple of days. Do you like it more with or without the whey protein? It actually tastes better either either way. It tastes pretty good. Gina, this is definitely the first thing you do when you wake up, right? You run up to the kitchen to eat breakfast, even if it's 6 or 7 in the morning? Well, normally it's like, normally I get up at 8. Sometimes I eat at 8. 
Eight is normally the time I eat. Okay, so when are we gonna see you next, Gina, for lunch? Yeah, lunch time. Hi, YouTube people. So it's actually about 1.15 p.m. Uh, normally Gina has lunch around noon, but I had to run to Whole Foods and, and pick up some new stuff, uh, mainly because what my dad was giving her for lunch did not meet my requirements. So we bought a couple things here. We got organic coconut milk to replace the non-organic almond milk. This is much better. Lower in anti-nutrients, better fatty acid profile, all around a decent choice. Uh, we got some potato leek soup. She was having some organic tomato soup. I just got that for variety. We have correct oatmeal that's organic, slightly better, less chemicals, less herbicides. Uh, those are just pretzel twists for my mom. And uh, we got some organic sourdough bread from Bread Alone. You guys have seen this a couple times in my videos to make the grilled cheese. And here we have some Gruyere and Finlandia butter from Frankie's Fair Range Meat. So those three ingredients are going to be her lunch, the grilled cheese, the butter, the bread, and the cheese. Uh, I missed the bag. I have some uh, chocolate bars for myself, uh, some organic figs for my mom, some organic barley for myself. Uh, this is the uh, tomato sauce we're going to use for her dinner later, and some prune juice because my mom doesn't drink enough water. Oh, and I got some organic macadamia nuts for my chocolate chip cookies that I eat. So all we have to do for this grilled cheese is, is grate that gruyere and then just throw it on the bread and put the butter in the pan. Very simple, very easy. Wouldn't it make more sense just cutting the cheese and putting it on the bread then? We could do that and it would be easier, but it might not melt as good, but we'll, we'll do that. We'll cut some corners. Good idea, Junior. I'll get the, I'll open the butter, which... So oh, oh, I think I already cut the ends off of this. Yeah, this is definitely Gruyere. Let me smell it. Huh? <laughs> so I think we just, I like think a... we just cut this in half vertically and then put it on the bread. Okay, and open the butter if I can just. Now I'm gonna open the bread. That's it. Uh, one also thing I wanted to mention that you could put in the oatmeal uh, is nature's glucose as a sweetener. So organic vanilla coconut milk, nature's glucose to sweeten. Uh, you could put in the whey protein for protein and this very very tasty very delicious decent for you uh, mm. so i got the gruyere sliced up into like this a lot easier than grating it uh, this is really high quality bread and if you guys uh you know if you don't want to make it yourself bread alone is definitely the best option uh this stuff is only really good the first day you get it kind of at least what i've noticed so we'll just take the bread put the cheese in it cheese in the middle We'll cover it. Really simple grilled cheese. Okay, I'll that. And then we'll let's put the pan on the heat unit and we'll put some butter on the pan. So this is Flandia butter. It's not Frankie Strange meat. It's decent. More importantly, it's affordable. Uh, raw butter from a local farm. We might have that to offer soon enough. Butter! <laughs> oh, wait, I need let's butter. get a pretty big chunk of butter, Gina. Sure, how big of a chunk? That's a little crazy big. Maybe about half of that. A little bit, little less. That's good. Yeah. So we'll take that chunk, and this should be enough in the pan for both sides. Whee! Should I cut it in half to make it? No, that's fine. My mom's asking me for a grilled cheese for herself, so she can cook this one, but we'll Whee! put it together. So we got the butter melting, and the hardest part about grilled cheese, or really grilling any bread in the pan with butter, is just being patient enough not to burn the bread. So we'll put the heat on medium high. Probably want to cover this just to, to steam it as much as possible and get that cheese melting. I don't know if I can flip this with one hand, but I'll try. Apparently I can't, but that wasn't too bad. Can you hold the camera for a second? Not that I trust you holding the camera. Heavy. And here's my handsome brother who just dropped a fork on the floor. I'm trying not to destroy this grilled cheese. So we got a really nice crust on that side. We definitely want to turn heavy. the heat down. And actually, you want to take this off the heat because that side is going to burn before the cheese melts. Another minute or two off the heat, then we'll put it back on the heat for maybe three to five minutes and then it should be ready. Uh, tell them what you use for your hair, Frank. Uh, usually. I don't put anything, but what we want to say is we use the hair pomade on FrankiesNaturals.com because it's the best and most affordable 
hair pomade on the market and the only natural hair pomade. Uh, do you, I also have a question. Do you ever do anything to your eyebrows to get in that bush? Yeah, this is a what you eat in a day, not what I do in a day. So maybe you can mm -hmm. film me next time if can we don't have a. Camera. 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 Thing is heavy. Frick. Right, we have the inexperienced camera lady. But both sides of the grilled cheese Ew. are really nice and brown and delicious. Uh, oh the cheese, the cheese looks a little melted on uh, on both sides, so it should be good. So we'll take this off. I want to let this sit for a minute or two. And we'll take my mom's grilled cheese and just get it going in there. Well, that's my so good. I can't wait to shove my face in this. So the reason you want to let this sit for a few minutes is, one, it's too hot to eat anyway. The cheese will finish melting. All right, so it's only been about a minute or two and it's cooled off enough. Do I get to eat two parts? Yes, yeah. Yay! So here we have the grilled cheese. Uh, it's not like completely melted and heated through in the center, but it's still mostly melted. Uh, so uh, this is good enough if you wanted to you know you could throw it in the oven for maybe you know five or ten minutes But you definitely don't want to keep it in the pan because this is already perfectly brown Thank you. So let's try the grilled cheese and let them know how it is Okie dokie From a nutrient perspective, you know, we have cool. the fat soluble vitamins and some water soluble vitamins mm. in, in the raw cheese. It's also rich in protein. It's rich in fat cholesterol Everything your body needs to be healthy. Very good source of vitamin K2. Mm -hmm. Raw grass-fed cheese is definitely one of the healthiest and most nutritious foods you can eat in general. The bread is just adding some extra calories, feed your gut bacteria, flavor of course. Mm -hmm. I love how crunchy the bread is. My favorite part is the crunch. The cheese is so melty and delicious. Uh, so in uh, Weston Price's book, the Swiss in the La Chantal Valley would actually eat uh, their cheese that they made on rye bread every day. So this is kind of similar, although it definitely tastes a lot better. And I don't think the Swiss were uh, making grilled cheeses. I think they were just having the rye bread and then the cheese mm. raw on top. So this definitely tastes better. Nice and melted and delicious. Mm -hmm. And you can still see the steam. And despite the deviation from her diet and Gina eating more carbohydrates, she hasn't gained weight because uh, once you lose that weight and if you just maintain a pretty high food quality, uh, you can pretty much eat whatever you want. Mm. Good, Everyone likes grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. This would probably be really good with uh, that tomato soup you were having the other day. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll have a, a snack next or maybe we'll just have dinner and then we'll have a snack. Who knows, maybe we won't have a snack today. Mm. We'll definitely be having a snack after dinner. <laughs> I love how when I bite into it, the cheese just... Stretches, yeah, that's the Gruyere. Mm. We have got to have that perfect uh, pulled pull cheese. All right, so we'll see you guys for the next meal. Mm-hmm. Hi, YouTube people, back again. What making, are we having for dinner, Gina? We're making pasta with meat sauce. Yes, so uh, the options that I've been using for the red sauce are, one is like a pre-mixed red sauce, like tomato, basil, Whole Foods has organic 365. The second option is just jarred, like pureed tomatoes, which is perfectly fine too. So you have like organic sauce. This has some mushrooms in it, extra flavor, strained tomatoes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ground beef, warm it up. You could get it brown uh, with some butter, or you could even just warm up the sauce and then cook the meat in the sauce. And that's gonna be thrown on some high quality pasta. This is actually uh, a gift I got from someone, uh, but any high quality organic uh, durum wheat semolina pasta is going to be good for this. Uh, so we're just boiling some water right now. Half the amount of salt in here. And so Gina, let's put some butter in the pan for the ground beef. And this is probably going to be, I would say, three to four days worth of pasta and meat. I'm just gonna throw the ground beef in there. And add just a bit of salt for that too. So with the beef, we obviously have, you know, protein, B vitamins. More importantly, a very low inflammatory source. You know, it's not full of chemicals. You know, I have pollution concerns with fish since it's grass fed and high quality. A lot of negatives have been removed. So as soon as the beef is kind of cooked through, we'll throw the pasta sauce in there. Okay, so we're just putting the whole bag in there. Yes. Got a pound, should be enough for the sauce. We'll just stir it a few times at the start to make sure it doesn't stick. So we'll take our portobello mushroom sauce, put it in with the beef. And just a little bit of filtered water. And it goes 
in there. So depending on how calorically dense you want this to be, you can add quite a bit of butter. We only added maybe a tablespoon or two, but you could put literally one or two sticks of butter in that pasta sauce and it'll become much higher in calories if you want to gain weight. So the sauce simmered for about five minutes on a medium heat. It was all done. Pasta took an extra five minutes. All right, so we just drained the pasta out, put the simple red sauce with meat in the pasta. We're gonna just eat it right out of the pot and go like The nice thing about this pasta with meat sauce is you can really vary the amount of meat, pasta, and sauce to whatever you want your kids to be eating. If you think they need more protein, now you could put two, three pounds of beef in this, maybe even four, and it's gonna be I mostly meat instead it. of pasta. I filled up to it too much. So what we could actually do is we could take some of the raw parmigiano that I have on Frankie's syringe meat and put some on this mm -hmm. pasta. Uh, but the problem is that mm. Gina eats Hot. a lot of anything, so if it tastes too good, she'll just eat three or four bowls. I'll keep 50 bowls of this stuff. <laughs> but if you do put some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese on this, not Hot. only does it taste better, you get a lot of fat soluble vitamins mm. and a lot of nutrients, and even vitamin K2. Mmm, it's so good. The meat is perfectly browned. Look at the steam coming off it. The meat isn't, isn't browned that much. It's cooked at a, a pretty low temperature mm. to preserve most of the nutrients. Mm. So everything here is kind of cooked, but minimally cooked. Uh, so Gina is going to sit down and enjoy her dinner, and mm -hmm. maybe we'll see her in an hour or two for a snack. Mm -hmm. And what are we having for a snack today, Frank? We'll find out. It is snack time for my sister. You know, we used to only have a snack a few times a week, but uh, she's spoiled. Uh, so Gina, what have you been having for a snack for the past few weeks, usually? Um, well, sometimes I normally have like a... Uh, Anything with, uh, I normally have uh, some like, uh, yeah, that sounds like something things, she doesn't want to tell me. Granola things that my dad gave me, I forget what, were like one of those like rice, uh, what, uh, Rice Krispie Treats cookies? No, uh, that I'm supposed to have? I would say probably the, Jenny, the you've been stuttering for about like 20 it? seconds. Rice cakes, those are, my dad bought me organic rice cakes. You no. said they're organic, you want to bet on that? That's what it says on the packaging thing. Are they up here? Yeah, they're up here on the... Yeah, I mean, I've told my dad multiple times to buy organic stuff, but he's basically buying grains and things that are not organic, which means they're full of chemicals like glyphosate and bad things that damage your liver. Mm. Go figure. Uh, so this is the uh, best oh, bar. Apple right here. Yeah, we brought up a couple of them from Frankie's Syringe Meat. This we is have... the vanilla one. Also have berry and chocolate. Uh, I believe these are the best Vanilla. energy protein meal replacement survival bars it's on the market. It's $2.50 for 320 calories, which is actually also cheaper than Here's all the, other bars on the market. Here's the berry, mm -hmm. which I've had. This it doesn't really taste like too much berry, but it's really good. You can get these on Vanilla. Frankie's Free Range Foods. This is what the vanilla one looks like. Definitely give us some feedback if you guys try this. Cause she'll eat anything and I can't trust her feedback. Mmm. It's really good. I tasted a little, a lot of the vanilla. What's up with the uh, flannel today, Jeannie? You trying to get the other ladies to like you? <laughs> no, I'm just cold. <laughs> I love the soft texture because most granola bars, bars like this are rock hard and not very good. Yeah, this bar has very little to no fiber in it. Uh, so it's it's pure calories, pure energy, pure flavor, mm. very soft, like a cake-like texture, but it melts in your mouth. Mmm. It sure does. It's very good. Does it remind you of anything? No, Frank, it's the best thing I've ever had. Not really. I, not really. I don't really remember. I think it's really good. So overall, Gina has gotten an excellent amount of vitamins, minerals, and nutrition, especially protein throughout the day. Uh, you know, normally when I'm not here, you know, if you don't put the weight protein in the breakfast, if you don't have the high quality cheese for lunch, if you don't put meat in the pasta, you know, if you're not having this uh, whey protein in this bar as a snack, then you know, the protein content of our diet is probably, you know, 60, 70 grams less if, if, if we're not careful, uh, which is very important for overall health, body composition, cognitive function. Uh, so mm. it's definitely something you shouldn't overlook. And these foods are a very approachable and affordable way to, to do that in a high quality manner. All friend, all my brother's products are really delicious to eat. Alright, Gina. Let's say bye. Bye, you two people.